Hey everybody, it's me, Bryson Booker. Today, I have in my hand the 2000 release of the full-length hit movie. Yes, the second full-length hit movie. Well, I don't even know if it was a hit. Rugrats in Paris, the movie. The second film in the Rugrats theater movie franchise. The third being the Rugrats Go Wild, which nobody seems to remember because it wasn't that good. Anyway, here's this film, released in 2000. Hold on to your barrettes. The Rugrats kids are headed for Paris, an all-new feature-length adventure. France doesn't stand a chance. Obvious rhyme there. When Stu Pickles is summoned to work at Euro Reptile Land, Paris' newest amusement park, the Rugrats kids tag along from the Eiffel Tower to the Notre Dame. No attraction is safe. From the Rugrats kids that find that fun is the same in any language. Meanwhile, love is in the air for Chucky's dad, Chaz. Could Chucky be getting a new mom? The Rugrats can learn valuable lessons of courage, loyalty, and true love in this music-filled journey featuring the hit song Who Let the Dogs Out and voice talents of Susan and, and John... It, I can't even look at read those names. Okay, basic rundown of the movie. Okay, so we start out at this party. Everybody's dancing, and the Rugrats recreate a scene from The Godfather, which I, I, don't, I don't really understand why that's in this movie, because what does The Godfather have to do with Rugrats going to Paris? I mean, but instead of calling it The Godfather, they call it The Bob Father. But still to this day, I don't know why that's in there. Why is that in this movie? Well, what's the point? I, I guess there was something extra they had to add. Anyway, uh, we, we discover, after the party, we discover that Chucky's feeling sad because all the rest of the parents have their mommies, and Chucky's sitting there while they're all dancing, and he's like, Oh, I wished I had some mommy. And so he's sad, and he's scolding, and blah, blah, blah. And it turns out, Stu Pickles built this new, big old reptile they're using for this play in France. And so, reptile breaks down, obviously, because Stu Pickles, uh, his toys, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, he gets called by this one girl, <laughs> well, not the one girl, uh, soon to be Chucky's mom, to go come and fix it. So, well, they go to Reptar Land. And we get our first cheesy song. <laughs> As they're going to the airport, I have to admit, this has to be the only cheesiest song in this whole film. The first song. It it, it, it just sounds... It's weird. Um, I'm sorry. It, it's it's kind of weird to me. The, the, first sing, the first song... I, they're going on a trip. It's like... It, I don't understand. Anyway... They finally get to France, they go to the amusement park, and here's something that I just don't understand. Every time I watch this movie, I question this every time. What is a Japanese amusement park doing in Paris, France? Does anybody know how is that possible? How is a Japanese amusement park with the French name... With the French name, Euro Reptile Land, that's, a French, that's somewhat a French name. How is that doing in Paris, France? And it's from China! It's like, it's like putting an American Legoland in Iraq. It doesn't make sense. I mean, why would anybody... It, well, I, I guess it's the Rugrats. <clears throat> I guess they thought... I guess they thought after drinking, they are like, oh... Well, yeah, we're we're gonna put this we're we're gonna put this city we're gonna put this amusement park in China. Now we're in France, but hey, if we put it if the amusement park is from China, maybe it'll be something foreign. I, I I don't I don't understand that. That's the only thing I really don't understand from this movie, and it's a big part of the whole movie, the amusement park. I don't understand. Maybe you guys understand. I don't. But anyway, on the journey to finding his mommy, the Rugrats Chucky's mommy. The Rugrats get into all sorts of stuff, of course slapstick, things fall over, things blow up, and then there's like three plots going on. Four. There, no. Yeah, four. The first one being, yeah, Chucky wants, to, Chucky wants a mommy. We already covered that. The second minor plot, very, very minor, is Spike the dog finds love. He finds this little poodle, as you can see in the picture. That he fell in love with. And another thing that I don't understand. This is when the Baja Men song comes in. Who let the dogs out? 
this song only appears for a mere 20 seconds for that one scene in the entire film. One scene. Who let the dogs out? It doesn't appear anywhere else in the film. And it, it, it kind of just feels a little bit out of place. Because you're like, okay, it's this one scene with the dogs. It only it's, it, it's, it's only played for 20 seconds. I mean, seriously? <laughs> but anyway, it's in here. And Spike Fallen's falls in love and they get re and they recreate a scene from uh what Lady and the Tramp. But instead of them both swallowing the pizza together, it gets stuck on their on the side of their faces. And then pretty much that's the whole plot with Spike and the dog. The other plot is Chaz wants a new wife and he's looking at this girl who is her right here. Who owns this amusement park, and, and, and he, pretty much, Chaz flirts with her, flirts with her the whole movie, at least attempts to flirt with her, but anyway, the, this lady, she wants Chaz, she wants to marry Chaz, she wants to take over the whole world, blah, 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 and this is our villain right here, somewhat. Anyway, Chucky's real mom, who has a daughter named Kimmy, which is right here, as you can see her right there who actually does something in the rest of the series, Kimmy is a major Rugrat. Unlike the Rugrat that premiered about two, three, no, two years earlier, Dill, who does absolutely nothing in the entire series, Kimmy actually does something for the rest of the show. Yeah. Really interesting. And, and, and of course, it's a major character, because that lady soon becomes Chucky's mom. And, well... She has more things in common with Chaz than Chaz does with the evil, evil French lady who owns the amusement park. And then the fourth plot, which was kind of minor, was, uh, well, Stu Pickles is building this new thing, and yes, it works. And then eventually, the Rugrats use it because they're, they're not, Chucky refuses to let Chaz marry this bad woman. And as the wedding goes on, well, the Rugrats are captured because they were like, because uh, his, his, her assistant is like, uh, man, you baby show no more mess with us. You show no more mess with us. So we're going to put you in this thing where you can easily get out because there's there's this big riptar right there. And obviously, I'm not a good watcher because I'm reading the newspaper. Yeah. So they hop in the truck. No, the reptar. And they go stop the wedding because... It, it, it just doesn't seem right to Chucky. Chucky wants a real mom, and he doesn't think that, and he doesn't think this lady could be his real mommy. And eventually, well, Chaz marries the other lady, and I, for some reason, I just can't remember her name right now. I'm sorry, guys. Who has Kimmy, and now they're a whole happy family again. We finally go to the wedding party. Everybody's dancing, and then we got one more piece of comic, classic Rugrats comedy that appears in this whole gen Whole, whole film, where everybody is throwing cake at each other. The end. Stick around for a music video for the Baja men, from the Baja men, who once again, song only appeared for 20 seconds in the entire film. Not counting the ending credits. Not counting the ending credits. Anyway, that's the whole film. It's a decent film, but like I said, one major error I don't understand what is a Chinese amusement park doing in France? It, is, it doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe you guys know, because I don't know at all. It, it, anyway, it's a great movie. It's a nice film. It's the Rugrats in Paris, although it has some flaws. One of them I just mentioned. But the rest of the, it, it, it overshadows was it, what it does wrong. It's a great, nice film. It won't make you laugh out loud like the Rugrats episodes, but you'll get a couple chuckles out of it. Whew. Like somebody, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bread. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Anyway, it's the Rugrats movie, released in 2000 by Nickelodeon Movies and Paramount Pictures. It's an awesome film. I love it. It's a really great gem. Don't pick it up.